Alrighty, so Fallout London is out and I am super excited to play it. And I noticed that there wasn't really a whole hell of a lot of people showing you how to do the install stuff. Install process is definitely new when it comes to people who would normally do mod pack stuff, so I figured I would make a little guide on how I set up mine. I haven't really done too many of these before, so there's that. I figured why not give it a crack. I am super freaking hyped to play this and I hope I can help some people play it as well. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is go to the Fallout London page. A little weird, but you go to giveaway. You're gonna see this little redeem thing. It's gonna take you down the page. And then there's gonna be a little thing down here that says add it to your account. When you do that, you will be able to download it from the launcher over here. But first, if you own it on Steam, which is what I'm gonna be covering over here today, you will need to have Fallout 4 installed. Now for the Steam version, yes, on this website and in the link in the description, you will see the downgrader over here. But yeah, you download it from here. And now we have it here. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run the downgrader. I did have some issues with the downgrader. What was happening for me and what is happening for a lot of people by looking at, you know, their Discord server, what's what's going on. A lot of times it would just stall. Now, what I did, I don't know if any of my little preventative measures actually helped, but I got mine off of the GitHub. I'll put the link down in the description for their D GitHub for the download. Basically, just come over to this website. You click the downgrader.exe and you download. Now, some things that might help you if you still have issues is I ran it as administrator. I made sure to put it on the same drive that I was installing everything on. And I also launched Fallout 4 once for the first time before doing all this stuff, just in case, just to make sure all the files that it was editing and tweaking and messing with was all there. Alternatively, if you're still having issues with the downgrader, there is a guide on how to do it manually. A lot of it is just opening up a console and copy and pasting, and the link to this guide I'll be putting in the description as well. Quick little side note, the Linux version and the source code and yada yada are available on this little folder. You click and you can get the Linux version there for you for any of you Steam Deck homies or just penguin people in general. All right, so now you're gonna locate where your Fallout 4 install is. If you have a hard time finding it, you can always go to Steam. The little cog over here, Manage, Browse Local Files. This will take you right to where your install is. And then you're going to just want to copy this path and put it into the downgrader. So as you can see, mine is F Steam Library, yada, yada, Steam Maps, yada, 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 yada. So just navigate over to it. So F, Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Fallout 4, Select Folder. And bam, we did it. I press continue. Now you're going to have to log in. This part, you don't get to see. Now I have to remember my password because I changed it a little while ago. Enable the 2FA stuff. If you got any set up, which I do. Then downgrade to Fallout 4. Press says right here. It'll take a little while. So set it and forget it. Now in the meantime, you can have your download running for Fallout London. But yeah, so it's going to be around 30 something gigs. Let the downloader do its thing. Let the downgrader do its thing as well. And, uh, yeah, I shall catch you back when it's done. So yeah, it finished. And I just gotta say, Bethesda. Bethesda never changes. So yeah, it's all finished. Press finish. Next, your download should be all finished as well. Now you could just press play on this little thingy over here. It'll pop up your installer. Press install. Just for my own peace of mind, I usually like to make sure, you know, the file paths all look great, and that looks great. And it also says that you will have to disable cloud saves for your game. To do so, head on over to your game in Steam, click Manage, go to Properties. Then over here you see General. Pop that little check mark for Keep Game Saves on Steam, blah, blah, blah. Turn off the Steam Cloud, thank you for it. Get rid of this bad boy, press Install, and let it do its thing. Alrighty, and we are finished. We're going to press Play. And there she blows. We got Fallout London. The thing I have been waiting for for millennia. Does it continue? So I got a load file? Ooh, I'm not gonna not gonna load any of my old saves. That's a big no-no. New game, confirm, and we're in it. In it to win it. And we are in it. We got some pretty high frames so far. I'm gonna wait to play until I can get it on stream. But yeah, everything seems to be working super smooth, super good. All right, so from here, you might wanna add a desktop shortcut to do that super easy. Just got to find out where your GOG install files are. Um, you could either search it out yourself or super easy. You can go over here, go to manage installation and then show folder. And it'll pop open the folder that it's lo uh, currently located in. Right here, you'll see this launcher, Fallout London. You can just drag that all up to your desktop and you're all good. Click it, 
it launches. All right, now you might want to actually use a mod organizer like MO2. Now, if you want to load your own mods on top of it after running the installer, you just set up MO2 like this, and then you can put your mods on top, launching it through the script extender there. Or if you're special Vortex, but I'm not going to be showing you Vortex because MO2 is superior. Um, so yeah, I'll give you a little look-see on how to do that. So grab MO2, download it. Once you get the installer, you're going to want to run that. And I usually like installing my instances of MO2 portably because I run a lot of games that use MO2. Um, and you can actually do that right from the installer instead of just using the zip one. So I'm using the installer here. Press accept. Now I'm going to put this in my uh, GOG folder thing here just so that it can all be the same. So I'm going to navigate to where I want to install it. We found it, so I'm going to press OK. I'm going to press next. All this stuff is good. Mod organizer, yada yada. And uh, I'm not going to make a shortcut for myself and install. And we're going to launch it. Create new instance. Press next. Create portable instance. We're going to select Fallout 4. If, if it doesn't show up here for whatever reason, which Fallout usually does, um, you can also um, browse and find your location where you installed Fallout 4. Mine found mine automatically, so I'm just going to click that. Everything looks good. Next, next. Finish and launch. Now you just install your mods on top, just like you would anything else. Because there are a few mods that they suggest you put on top in there. You might want something for performance for this and that. But yeah, that's just about it. Now you can fully play. Now you now you can play the game. Now you can get all cheeky in, in London and, and explore. I don't know. I'm tired. Have fun. And mind the gap.